Love my fire. Best thing about my shop. Keeps it nice and toasty warm. What is it in here? Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 by 24. Yes, 16 by 24 inside. Not a huge shop, but it does the trick for me. By the way, this is Burt, b, b Power Sports. It is October... Hang in a second here. October 8th, 2018. Haven't made a video for a while, so I figured I'd just show off what I got going on here. Been kind of busy with other stuff lately. Doing some property development, making a driveway, freaking running power, all kinds of stuff. Uh, anyways, yeah. This is my daughter's 2000 CR125. I've already made videos of it before, running and riding and everything. Nice old bike. A little dirty, you know, got some scratches, whatever been ridden right but it's in great shape suspension was rebuilt by two trick a couple years ago set up for about 170 pounds i figure uh, i weigh 160 and i find it a little bit stiff but it's good to go it's nice plush suspension got good tires i just put this rear on it the other day front still pretty decent yeah second gen aluminum Not the last model, but second to last. Nice little bike. Motor was redone, my guess, about probably six months before we got it. We bought it from a guy that didn't know much about it. He had bought it for his kid to just try out because his kid was riding 85 cc's and he wanted the 125. So the guy bought this from some guy at the track, damn near mint, for dirt cheap. And then his kid rode it once and he liked it. So he went and bought him a brand new YZ125. <laughs> so they sold this one, but we got a good deal on it. Uh, he didn't know much about it. He didn't even know if it was rebuilt, but I could tell it was. It's got fresh gaskets and it runs freaking great. The compression's awesome on it. Like, it's a good running bike. We got a good deal on it, but my daughter wants to sell it now or trade it for a sled. A decent sled. Like, a, prefer a Ski Doo or maybe a Polaris. Like a Summit RMK, something like that. Six to eight hundred. Like, at least a 144 track. You know, like 2000 or newer, around the 2000 to $2,500 mark. That's what we figured the bike's worth, something like that. It's a nice bike. It's great. Like, there's no issues. I got to give it a good cleaning. It's getting a little dirty, but other than that, it's a good bike. And this is actually her first bike. Long story with this one. We traded a little quad that she had, a little Honda 125 TRX. It was her first toy that I bought her. And then traded that off for this, an 84 CR80. Only the second gen with liquid cooling and mono shock, I believe. I think 81 to 82 is different, and 83 and 84, I can't remember. And then she rode it for like half a summer in the top end blue. So at the time I didn't have much money and I just tore it down and I was like, ah, I can't afford to fix it right now. So I flogged it to some guy, gave him all the parts in a box. He was going to fix it, never did. He sold it to somebody else. That guy was going to fix it, never did. Find that that guy got a hold of me on Facebook and offered it on a trade or something like that or as partial payment for something. I can't remember what it was. And I ended up getting it for like $100 or something like that. I don't even remember what it was. I got it for dirt cheap anyways with the same box of parts that I had packed with it originally. They were all rusty and shit, but <laughs> I cleaned her all up, put a fresh top end on it, new piston, everything. It's good to go. It's already sold. I just gotta finish doing the tubes. I can't get the damn tires off the rims. They're too old and stiff. I was trying to pry them. I don't have a tire machine. I just use pry bars and shit. And I just I couldn't get the rear run off. I gave up on it. So I'm gonna take some money off the price and refer him to a shop in town that gives a good deal on doing these for him. Gonna hook him up. So yeah, it'll be worth it in the end for him. But anyways, this is my newest project. Putting in a new coolant fan on a little. An older Honda, what is it, a 420 Rancher or something? I can't even remember what year it is. A little beat up, but yeah, it runs good. But the fan quit and it was overheating, so hopefully it didn't do too much damage. I got one off eBay. Just figured out how I'm going to get the old one out. You can't really see here. Uh, so hard to do with one hand. There we go. The old fan's right there. Right inside there. Just gotta unbolt it at the top. 
couple bolts there, one at the bottom, a couple at the other side, and then pull it out. I don't think it's going to be a huge job. Doing this late at night, it's like, well, it's not late, but it's definitely after hours. It's like quarter after eight right now. Just a job I've been meaning to get done for a while. The part came in a little while ago, and the guy got a hold of me was asking, so they got yeah, no, I'll get it done for you here this week. So, hoping to have it done tonight. Get it out of here. Start making room for sleds and snowblowers. <laughs> Bert, B&B Power Sports. Maybe I'll make a video doing the, the coolant fan. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah.